Here we go, the deciding match, game three, round three of the Starcross Cup four. Pretty bit head faction selection, and I guess he went for OKW, worked so well for him in game two. OMG Pop going for his US forces instead after being shut down completely as British. And straight away, OMG Pop's gone for Rifle Company. This has uh, been one of the strongest commanders for a very, very long time. In fact, OMG Pop used it in my tournament, Tyrant Pacific Invitational, quite a few months ago now. With a lot of success too, making it to the finals, but ultimately losing to Paul. So, Redbeard doing the same capping order as last time, getting some wire up on this heavy cover. You gotta be careful with how you wire this up though, I think there's still a bit of cover. If you put your barbed wire too close to it, you don't actually deny that as cover. I often make that mistake. You gotta be real careful with your wire placement there. Oh, oh, race for the garrison here. Who's gonna win? Stern Pioneers or Rifleman? It's gonna be close! Oh, and Rifleman and win the day. I think the first model of this, the, the Stern Pioneer that was closest to the garrison ended up dropping. So it's a great start for OMG Pop. Resting control of this very important garrison right on Redbeard's fuel, I mean uh, munitions, and very close to that cutoff. This is a very important garrison to keep hold of. Redbeard bringing in power in numbers here. OMG Pop not bringing in any more riflemen in kind. Now deploying his squad of veteran riflemen. Rifles ultimately forced away. May actually go down. No stem ponies do not move closer to the retreat path. But they may have actually got the wipe if they had. Very low on health there. Rifles making their way through the center of the map. OMG Pop has. Really good garrison control. He's got control of this one right outside of Redbeard's base. That makes it very difficult for Redbeard to get out of his base. Redbeard has put his battle group in his base now. Instead of putting it out here, which is probably the more preferred location. Just because ONG Pop has this aggressive rifleman positioning right now. Still, all is not lost to Redbeard. He's still got control of his cutoff and his vital resource points, also one VP in the north. Probably gonna wait until he gets an infantry support gun before worrying about these garrisons too much. Looks like OMG Pop not going for a fourth rifle, instead going for Lieutenant, so that's probably gonna be an M20 from him. And that's always what he's played. He uh, yeah, traditionally has been a lieutenant player, not a captain player. Rifleman closing close range on the Vox there, sitting behind heavy cover, inflicting quite a lot of damage there. Steam Pioneers making their way forwards. Oh, nice incendiary grenade. Turns that engagement back into Repeat's favor. Steam Pioneers ultimately repelled by that extra squad of veteran riflemen there. MG Pop deciding to disengage here. Needs both of his rifles if he wants to try and win this. But no, he doesn't. He's actually going south. No, a bit of indecision here with his riflemen. If he brought them over here and set them up in this heavy cover here, they could probably duke it out, but not what's going on. Oh, look at that shoe mine! Almost knocks out that lieutenant. And uh, Redbeard well aware of that, sending that squad up there trying to get the white. Unsuccessful though. What is OMG Pop doing with the squad of veteran riflemen? This is a really confusing passage of play from him. 
still, he's not going to be confused for much longer. Here comes the M20. Rebid also bring in a Rakitin with it right about now. Stamping on his forced to retreat from the south, but Rebid is doing some nice harassment of OMG Pop's fuel. OMG Pop running straight into the center of the map, forcing this retreat here. And he's just he's just he's just gonna camp right outside Redbeard's base with this. He's gotta be careful because here comes that Rakitin. Don't know if he saw that or not. Redbeard continues his harassment, now making his way to OMG Pop's cutoff and OMG Pop returning the favor, cutting Redbeard off in the north. And 20 goes to dispatch with that squad. They're forced to retreat. Infantry support gun probably going to try work on this garrison. OMG Pop's playing a bit of peekaboo. Trying to stall for time, taking as little damage as possible while maintaining control of this garrison. Getting away for has crawled its way forward to camouflage mode. Get some nice shell off on that M20. It's down to half. It's got to be careful now. A capture point is being overrun. Looks like the lieutenant. Nope. Doompony is moving their way to the north, but they're only in light cover here, and they're taking a lot of damage Need to get behind that heavy cover of the truck. Infantry support gun, ooh! Most of the damage with well, that tank by that truck, lucky for those riflemen. Sentry grenade goes off, flushing that lieutenant out of the garrison. Oh, Jaeger lights deployed there on the flank of those rifles, forcing their retreat. Same time, OMG Pop using a wounded squad to try to do some capping in the north. Where's his. The Islands. So, Rebid starting to break this containment. That first Rekindle with a shot, buying himself a bit of time. Why is there smoke on all these troops? Is that dust? Oh, Rakinwiff finds another opportunity. Oh, but misses on that M20 shot. OMG Pop's rather, rather late to react though. He's going to take it. Oh, he misses the second shot as well. A scenery grenade almost knocks out the squad. They're taking a nasty retreat path as well. Maybe Rippy could deploy some Jaeger lights. He doesn't quite have enough manpower though. If he could just deploy those Jaeger lights from this garrison, probably could have got the wipe there. Unlucky for him. Just uh, 20 manpower short at that time. Also unlucky for him that those two Rakenwefer shots missed. Now on 20. i try to duke it out against this Rakenwefer. Rakenwefer gets a shot on it. Now he's going to retreat. ISG misses the 20. 20 trying to knock it out on retreat. Probably not going to be successful though. But Rebeard's doing pretty good for map control. He's about to set up a triple cap. He's got pretty much all the important sectors under his control. Pop's got a mass retreat. Pop now transitioning into his AA half track. And he's sending all his troops to the north. At the same time doing a bit of capping with his rear echelons that were camped here in the center. So a pretty pretty good start for Redbeard early on. He has deployed himself another squad of Jaeger lights. Probably needed another Rakidnwefer though. Maybe he's just gonna try try getting out enough fuel for a uh, Jagpanzer. It's not too far away. But if OMG Pop gets all these cutoffs going, it's probably going to be uh, an eternity. Oh, Squad gets wiped there in the north by the A half track N20 combo. Still 
still Redbeard has all of the all the resources in the south connected at the moment so he's he's still doing all right about a minute or less than a minute in fact away from that yak panzer no yes he has he's brought in another rekin with her not a bad option can uh, two hit the m20 and a half track Still, I mean, OMG Pops, I don't know what's going on here, he's sending all his troops around, clustered together, he hasn't got an ambulance, so all his troops are, I mean, extremely low on health, he's going for a second AA half-track, this is just mind-boggling stuff here, surely he knows that his uh, harassment ha hasn't been that successful so far, Redbeard's had great fuel income, and this Yak is just going to tear through double AA half-tracks. Oh, Rakin with her finds a line. A hey, half track's in a bit of trouble there. Backing away for some repairs. Rifleman right, an outnumbered in the south. Forced to retreat. In fact, these uh these Fox community is probably gonna do pretty good work against all these extremely low rifles. Oh big 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 spit of lag there. Folks take way too much damage on approach. They're going to try to throw some no, incendiary grenades. Try and swing it in their favour. But OMG Pop was playing close attention. Quickly dodged that. Nicely done, sir. Second AA half track. Try and finish the job on that low health squad. Unsuccessful. Now that this thing can fire 360. A lot of players just moving it forwards, but you still have to worry about that gun swiveling all the way to the forward position before firing. And that extra bit of aim time there can cost you some kills. Uh oh. A half track may go down here to the Rakin with his try clear its arc. Unsuccessful there. Goes down. Nicely done. Redbeard's been so diligent with his. This is Rekindleworth, it's really been impressive. Always in the right place at the right time. Flak headquarters making mincemeat of that M20. So I guess Redbeard felt he didn't even need to go for that Jagdpanzer. Put down his tech structure instead. He could probably field himself with Luke's. And that's exactly what he's doing. First squad of flamethrowers for OMG Pop. Kind of surprising. I mean, he's so he's so deep into the game. He's got so much munitions in the bank. I'm surprised he hasn't upgraded them earlier. But he doesn't even have many riflemen left. He's suffered a lot of wipes. Two rifles. Redbeard on the, hand, on the other hand, I don't think he's lost, oh no, he's lost one Jaeger light squad. squad back to full strength. Oh, Rakin with misses opening shot on the M20. But Redbeard's not too concerned. He's got a pretty good lockdown on that center VP and hit most of his important resource sectors in the north, so... Pressure's not really on him. Pressure's on OG Pop having invested so much into light vehicles for very little return so far. A half track doing some pretty good damage to that squad as they jump to the garrison. 
we can we're for now repositioning trying to find a find a nice angle of attack trying to knock that thing out oh looks like red bear cancelled his luke's perhaps he's just going to feel himself a flak panzer once he gets to the required amount of manpower now pretty close to that and honestly oh, i don't know what omg pop is up to right here he's spending a lot of micro power trying to push the squad so they can't fire their shrek which is nice but he's got a lot of manpower and fuel bank to Needs to stop appearing for Redbeard's next play. A capture point. As it is right now, he's completely unprepared. He's he's just floating so much right now. I just what what is he doing? Why isn't he re? I mean, he could just bring in another squad of veteran riflemen. He could tick up. This is a uh, very curious stuff. You could even like tick to captain and bring in a pack out so that would be a good play as well. Flakpanzer forcing a mass retreat here in the south and OMG Pop as I was saying completely unprepared for this. Flakpanzer making mincemeat of all these squads on retreat. Looks like Pop is now ticking but I mean that's completely unrealistic. And Redbeard takes the game 2-0, two, two so I mean just very poor play from OMG Pop all round honestly, especially in this game 3. I can understand losing his Brits to Ostrupen, but oh no, there was a Redbeard doing Ostrupen. I can understand losing his Brits in the early game because it's very tough, but uh, this was a uh, very uncharacteristic of Pop. GG, Redbeard takes the series and will advance to the next round.